Michael Douglas starts the ET countdown. We talked about him 46 times about his Emmy. Check. His Golden Globe nomination. Check. Separated from Catherine Zeta-Jones. Check. And he was back on the big screen with Las Vegas. And these guys, Tom and Charlie, they tied at number nine. For Charlie, that custody battle with Brooke Mueller was a big help. Tom's movie, Oblivion, got a lot of E.T. hits, and so did his $50 million lawsuit against In Touch and Life and Style. Hugh Jackman is our number eight with the return of The Wolverine and his Oscar nomination for Les Mis. And number seven, that's Matt Damon. E.T. loved when he renewed his wedding vows with his wife, Lucy, but Matt also got Emmy and Globe nominations, and there was Elysium and those amazing abs. Bradley Cooper is number six. That can happen when you star in Silver Linings Playbook and The Hangover Part 3 and American Hustle in one year. And at number five, that's Ben Affleck. Argo got him there with a Golden Globe and his second Oscar, and we certainly talked about Batman. You hit it right on the head. At number four, it's the Beebs. His new music and world tour made the show, and so did the spats with his neighbors and the paparazzi, that foiled kidnap murder plot, and that little incident in Brazil. Uh, uh, and it also put Justin on Bing's list of most searched people of the year. No matter the distance. Number three, George Clooney. He made Gravity won an Oscar for co-producing Argo and broke up with Stacey Keebler. Just being George Clooney is good enough for me, and I apologize, George, but we talked even more about your buddy Brad. And that makes him number two. Brad starred in World War Z and produced 12 Years a Slave, and we certainly noticed his loving support for Angelina. It's the omen, I keep it 300. And topping E.T.'s list, Kanye West, but not because we were scared if we didn't make him number one, he'd yell at us. <laughs> 